Hi everyone, this is Angelica Conrad from My Favorite Things. I'm really excited to be sharing my first video here on the MFT YouTube channel. I have a fun birthday card to share with you today featuring the cutest giraffe and new cardstock colors. I'll be working with Joyful Giraffe Dynamics and Balloon Stacks Dynamics as well as a few other products. And the cardstock colors I've picked are Chantilly Cream, Fire Coral, Candy Yam, Butterscotch, Limelight, Field Day, Caribbean Sea, Eiffel Tower, and Milk Chocolate. I did my die cutting off screen and am now gluing the Joyful Giraffe together. I die cut the head and neck from Chantilly Cream cardstock and the spots are from Butterscotch. This giraffe is super easy to put together. The body and neck base dies leave indents so you know where to glue all the pieces. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just using MFT glue and my tweezers to put the pieces in place. Now I went to Sacramento last year with my young daughter and we spent an afternoon at the Sacramento Zoo and she got to see two giraffes in person. Uh, she was mesmerized. They were so adorable, so tall. We sat and just watched them eat leaves for a good 15 minutes and I swear she giggled the whole time. It was so sweet. Because of that memory, I will always have a soft spot now in my heart for giraffes. Now getting back to this giraffe, I'm almost finished. I'm just adding the cotton candy inner ears and then the eyes and nostrils, which I die cut from milk chocolate cardstock. I'm going to switch my glue right here to a needle point uh, just because the eyes and nostrils are so tiny. I just needed a little tiny bit of glue. I also used a jewel picker upper tool. I don't I don't know what they're called, but they are perfect to pick up those little teeny pieces of paper, the little teeny eyes and nostrils, and I just touch them to the glue. The glue just grabs them off the tool and then I can move on to the neck. And I'm adding the butterscotch spots and then it will be time to move on to the next step. So now I'm going to get the background ready. I have a white panel that is cut to three and a half by eight and a half, and I'm using Caribbean Sea ink and the cloud stencil to make a cloud background. I taped the bottom of the panel down so the paper didn't move around um, on the slick surface while I was stenciling. And I'm just going back and forth with my blending brush, moving the cloud stencil at different angles. I picked the stitched rectangle from Slimline Starter Dynamics to die cut the panel and now it's time to assemble the card. So right now I am just positioning everything on the panel so I know where I want the balloons because I'm going to start with drawing balloon lines. So I'm pulling the balloons up just a little bit and adding a little black mark and that's where I'm going to start my balloon lines at. I'm using a ruler and a glitter pin for the strings. I love using a glitter pin for drawing these lines because they're not really in your face like a black line would be. They have a nice soft glittery effect which just fades into the background. You can still see the lines but there's no distraction. The balloon colors are Candy Jam, Caribbean Sea, and Fire Coral. Now in person, these colors are so luscious. I am in love with them and the quality of the cardstock is fantastic. They have a fantastic weight to them. Now I'm gluing tall filled green grass from Grassy Field Dynamics and a limelight bush which I die cut from Stitched Rolling Clouds Dynamics. And I did trim them with the rectangle that I had trimmed the panel with. I'm adding just a little bit of glue to those 
edges of the grass before moving on to the giraffe. I'm doing a quick position of the giraffe before I glue down the neck. And then I'm going to be using thin foam squares for the giraffe's head. Now when I add the foam squares to the head, I'm going to be really careful where I position them because I want them only at the top of his head because the bottom of his head is going to be pretty much on four layers of cardstock. So to keep it even, just knead it on the top. I will cut a strip for the horns. I cut strips of foam squares quite often for those little tiny areas that still need to be propped up. Now moving on to the balloons, I'm just gonna reposition them again, get a quick idea and start adding foam squares. I'm doing thin foam squares for the back balloon. I want it to be the lowest and just sticking it over the drawn string. And now I'm gonna add thicker foam to the front balloons. Again, making sure that I'm not putting that adhesive anywhere where the two where the balloon's going to touch the blue balloon. And again, I'm just going to need a little piece of adhesive, so I'm going to cut a strip strip off and put it on the bottom. You can see I use my tweezers a lot. They are uh, probably my second most used tool in my craft room. Uh, the Misty being the first. I'm gonna use a white gel pen to add some highlights to the balloons. I forgot to start with the coral fire balloon since I'm left-handed and have been smearing ink my whole life. I'm just gonna put the panel aside for a second so I don't smear the gel on the candy jam balloon. So I'm gonna get the foam ready to put on the back of the card panel to prop it up on a card base. This is how I prop up the majority of my panels. Um, I use craft phone and score tape. I find this to be a lot less expensive than using an adhesive roll. Now that I have the foam on the back of the panel, I'm going to add that last white gel highlight and then I'm gonna get it put on a card base. This card base is eight and a half by seven and then scored at three and a half folding it and I'm going to add the panel now. I take the strip off the middle adhesive um, on the foam and I'm going to add glue to it. This is going to give me a little bit of wiggle room when I put it on the card panel because the or on the card base because the glue is wet and I'm just going to move it to where I know it's straight and I'm just going to set that aside and let it dry. I have put on way too many crooked panels to not do this anymore. I'm not a fan of completely gluing my panels to card bases. I just feel like it makes them warp. So this is second best for me. Now moving on to the sentiment. I picked a sentiment from Giraffe Greetings, a birthday sentiment. I'm heat embossing it onto the Eiffel Tower cardstock. And I'm going to let it sit for a second just to let that embossing powder cool down. And I'm going to take the adhesive backing off of the rest of the adhesive strips that are on the foam. Now getting back to the sentiment, I'm going to be using a large skinny strip dynamics to die cut the sentiment, which I'm going to do off screen. And then I'm going to use thin foam squares to mount the strip because I love to use thin foam squares whenever I get a chance. So I'm gonna take the backing off and then another trick that I do is I add a little bit of glue to each square. So yet again, I have a little bit of wiggle room when I'm putting the sentiment down to make sure that I have it on straight. And that will complete my giraffe birthday card for today. I hope you really enjoyed watching this joyful giraffe card come together and you got to see the new cardstock colors. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon.